Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Emily and this video is going to be my February favorites. There's going to be a couple things from January and December just because I haven't done a favorites video and I wanted to include those things. So if you would like to learn what my favorites from February and a little bit of January and December, then just keep on watching and please subscribe. So I'm going to start off by showing you the things that I got in December that I've been okay, loving. There's like three things. So I absolutely love the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I have two shades. I have the shade 102 Shell Beige and 103 Natural Buff. I like the 102 when I don't have any self tanner on, but when I do have self tanner on, I really like the 103 and I'm wearing the 103 right now. Another thing I discovered in December was the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer and it smells so good. I love using it. It's great for my like nose contour and bronzing up my face when I have a little, at least a little bit of a tan or self tanner on. And then I think this is the last thing I found in December and it is the Becca Opal the Becca Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector, and I absolutely love this highlighter. You can see right there. Don't mind that swatch. You'll see it in my next video on this look right here. Just stay tuned; it'll be there. And but yeah, I really love this little grab right here. And once I'm out of it, I'll probably go get the full size in it. Okay, on to January. I grabbed, in January I started like getting makeup supplies, getting makeup, I started getting makeup to use on my channel and I really love Tati, I really like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, like if she recommends something I will go out and buy it and 99% of the time be happy. And that is how I got this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I absolutely love this. Um, it doesn't really like brighten up my face when I don't have any self tanner on, but like today I have self tanner on and it brightens up. This is in, in the shade Neutralizer. When I'm out of this one, I want to go get like the lightest shade of this and see how I like that one. But I really like this and I do plan on repurchasing it when I'm out. And then I used to use this years ago and then I rediscovered it and it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder in the shade 001 Transparent and I just love how this looks on the skin. It really keeps my face set all day and yeah, it's just a, it's like an oldie but a goodie. But I just rediscovered it. And it is the Essence eyebrow designer and I use the shade 01 black and it was like two dollars it comes with this little brush and I really like this I sharpen it before every time I use it so it's like a nice sharp point and it can be super precise and I think it's a steal for two dollars and I've been using it literally every single day since I bought it and when I picked up that eyebrow pencil I also grabbed the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara I think this was also like two dollars and it's supposed to be clear but it's dirty because I use it and I have black eyebrows and this really does keep my brow hairs in place all day and I wasn't really like before I got this I didn't understand why people put like gel in their eyebrows but ever since I use this I can't stop using it and I don't think I'll ever not use a brow gel Okay, moving on to February, and that is when I discovered the Wet n Wild trio called Walking on Eggshells. I have a video on this little trio right here, and I'll have that link down below, and I have a tutorial using it, but I really love this guy right here. I'll swatch them. They're just beautiful, and it was super inexpensive because it's really awkward. Um, I hope you can see them. They're right there. 
right there, gorgeous. And you can use any of them individually or use them all together. And uh, that's actually what I did yesterday. I used them all together and I was really happy with the look. And it actually stays in my drawer. I have like this little drawer over here of all my like things I use every single day that's like different types of products and it stays in that drawer because when I'm on the go, that's what I grab. My next favorite that I got in February was the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals and this is a gorgeous highlighter. I really love it and I use it all the time. It's like a peachy pinky color and I really like it. I think it's great. I don't know if it's still available. I heard that it was limited edition and then I heard that it wasn't. So hopefully it's still available. If it is, you should grab it. It's amazing. Next is this little guy right here. It's the L'Oreal Beauty Sponge and it's the pink one, obviously. And it's sturdy because I just used it. Don't mind my nail marks in it. But this sponge is amazing. It's super squishy and just perfect for blending out under your eyes or your applying your foundation. I really enjoy this little guy. I can't live without him. So, he's great. And next up I have brushes. And I'm sure it comes as no surprise. I love my Morphe brushes and my Wet n Wild brushes. They're both super affordable and I will have the brushes that I love from both of these listed down in the description box, but I honestly don't know what I did without these. Like it takes up, I have this little cup that I keep all my brushes in and it cut and like, oh, I forgot this guy. Oh, can't hold them all. These are my absolute favorite brushes. If I didn't have any other brushes, I could survive with Morphe brushes and Wet n Wild brushes and I'd be set for the rest of my life. I say that now. We'll see if I find better other brushes that I love just as much, but these are affordable and amazing, so that's a pretty high that's a pretty high bar up there, so we'll see. And the last brush I've really been loving is my Elizabeth Malt All Over Shadow Brush. I use this to apply my eye primer, and I've had this for a while, but I never really used it. And I was using my finger to apply my eyeshadow primer, but then I started like growing my nails out a little bit, so that I could paint them and they look nice and I just kept taking my finger in the eyeshadow primer and it's really irritating me so I just use this and now I can't stop I just use it every single time I use eyeshadow primer I grab this guy so that is all my favorites from February and a little bit from January and December as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up I really hope to do monthly favorites this month I'm not buying any makeup but I have plenty of makeup that I'm still trying out, so I will have, hopefully have a video at the end of this month of my March favorites. But yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.